Welcome to News 3. I'm Pari Cruz. Topping our headlines, for those of you who have parked in an area that's now at risk for flooding, Virginia Beach officials say they're extending the time that people can move their cars for free to city garages. At the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, you can park at the garages on 9th and 31st Streets. And at Town Center, you can go to the maroon, red, green, and orange garages. Parking will be free there until Thursday morning. In Hampton, police are investigating a shooting involving a teenager. On Saturday, about 9.30 at night, police responded to a shooting on Independence Drive, not too far from Hampton High School. When they arrived, they found a 17-year-old male with a non-life-threatening gunshot wound. He was treated and released from a local hospital. Investigators say a suspect began firing at the vehicle as the teen drove by. There were three other cars and two houses struck by the gunfire, but fortunately, no other injuries. Now let's get a check of the weather with Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky. Hey, Patrick. Well, hi, Par. You know, Ian is a storm, the friend that just will not go away. The good news is, though, that each of our high tide cycles is going to be a little bit lower over the next couple of days before the water finally moves back within its banks. So as we take you into your Tuesday, our high tides are around 5 a.m. and around 5 p.m. at Sewell's Point. Could be a little bit different, a little hour either side of that where you live. But we're going to be in the minor flood stage. Minor does put a lot of water on the roads and one of the concerns for tomorrow morning is flood water before the sun rises and that can cause some problems. But you can see by uh, Wednesday morning 6 a.m. Our high tide is back within its banks, and so we're not expecting flood waters at that point, and things will be improving. But you can see it's going to be another windy and chilly day for you with occasional showers on Tuesday. We'll tack on, though, 10 degrees as we take you into Wednesday. By Wednesday afternoon, we could see a little bit of sunshine, a lot more for Thursday and Friday. Highs in the mid to upper 70s. Very fall-like weekend with highs with lots of sunshine in the mid-60s Saturday and Sunday.